I graduated during COVID. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Fresh out of college, I didn't know where exactly in the media industry I wanted to be. I grew up watching The Today Show. I think I knew that early on. I wanted to be a part of history, witnessing historical moments. Today, we're talking about entry-level jobs and news. College probably just prepared me to keep me on my toes, really. And I mean, obviously, you know, the basic media information and foundation that you need to succeed in this industry. My parents grew up in Mexico, so I was the first person to go to college in my family in the U.S. I chose to apply for this job because after I read the job description and realized that there was a chance that millions of people nationwide could see visuals that I created myself, that completely sold me. And it was a big transition going from the South to New York City in the middle of January. It was probably the coldest that I've ever been in my entire life, but I loved every second of it. The PAGE program is a rotational program that lasts for about a year, and in your cohort, there is guaranteed to probably be about 25 to 30 of you. In this current position that I'm in now, I'm working with the All In With Chris Hayes team over at MSNBC. The desk assistant program is an entry-level program that allows a lot of typically post-grad students to enter the news industry and kind of get their foot in the door. I really like how every day our you know, rotation or our job changes. It can start at 4 a.m., 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m. You might come in and there's a press conference that they need you to log and that's what you're gonna focus on for an hour or two. A typical day for me looks like working from 12 to nine. A lot of what my day looks like, transcribing some meetings, escorting guests, working on some music cue sheets for the show. As a graphics PA, my day typically looks like a combination of creative, fun, chaos. I start with whatever the first request is. The producers, they can just walk right up to my desk and we can sit and you know brainstorm and figure out how we're going to portray this information as creatively as, as possible. Some are simple graphics that I can knock out in anywhere between like a minute to five minutes. If I don't make it myself, I work hand in hand with the artworks department and they help me with the more complex graphics. It can honestly make or break your show. There's a TV by my desk and there are a lot of times where I'll make something and two minutes later I'll look over and it's, it's on TV. It's been amazing seeing all the monitors, and watching it all happen in real time has definitely been most exciting for me. The production value and the journalism is the top quality and it kind of inspires me to aspire to that level and continue to work hard and make sure that what I do hopefully matches that one day. NBC. Be intentional with making the program your own. This is an experience that you probably won't have ever again. You'll meet pages and people who stayed with the company that were former pages on your team. It is just very, very important to be willing to learn, to be open-minded, and to always remember the people who have kind of helped you out and just keep in touch. A lot of people in this building were also desk assistants. Getting to know that everyone started kind of in a similar position and moves on to different positions in their own way is inspiring because I know that one day maybe I can do the same.